At first, I'm going to have to put a bit of concealer on and do my foundation as well to achieve the overall look. So, um, yep, yeah, I'll get cracking. My concealer first. Cover up any spots. I do get quite bad spots. Um, not not full blown spots, more blackheads than anything. But they're quite annoying. They might not be vis visible to you guys on the camera, but they're very visible to me. Especially when I'm sat watching TV on an evening and I can feel them. Okay, so I've just put my concealer on. Um, now I'm going to go for my foundation. I don't go for a lot of it, just enough, I feel. I put this all around here. Cover my eye, because I feel it makes a good base. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know if this is the right or the wrong way, but it's the way that I do my makeup, so... I put a bit of white highlighter above my brow, well below my brow. And I put a little bit below. And then for this, I am using a, what's it called? It's called a Fluff Shadow Talent Brush. I got this with my Benefit makeup. Um, one end's fluffy, the other end's quite fine, um, like for blending. This is more for the eyeshadow and stuff. And firstly, I'm putting on the lightest colour. This is how I do it. The lightest colour that I can get on there, which is that one. Yeah? And I'm sweeping it all over my lower lid. In the corner, let's put a bit more on. I'm no makeup artist. <laughs> Okay, then next I use this colour, the darkest one. Okay, dab it on gently. And I'm going to go, so I'm going to start there and bring it down and go into my socket. And do the same on on this side. And then obviously it needs blending. So now I'm using the medium colour, okay? And now I'm going right in the socket and blending where those two contrasting colours meet. So it gives like the in-between And you just basically just keep on blending until you're happy with how it looks. Now, I'm just going to dab a little bit of the lightest colour back under my eye. Only a tiny bit, mind you. Right. This is the bit that I find hard, right? 
the eyeliner. Okay, so you, you put your eyeliner in, and I'm using a bit of kitchen roll, okay? Just to get the excess off the end. You need to have a really steady hand and get quite close up to your mirror. There you go. Don't worry about any excess that goes off onto your lower bits. You can soon sort that. Basically all you need is a steady hand, okay? Right, this is where the cotton buds come in handy. So get rid of any excess that you might not want. And for the bottom I'm using my brown eyeliner because I don't want too much black. Um, I don't want it to look too much. Um, now I'm going to use a bit of the lighter colour, purple, and just kind of rub it in with my eyeliner on the bottom. You probably won't even see it, but... And next, before I put my mascara on, I put my, um, my bronze on and my blusher, okay? It's my Dallas my trusty Dallas um, bronzer highlight the cheeks with a funky brush and then I go for my pink out of my Virgin V makeup and go over my cheeks and last but not least is my Extravagant Lashes Mascara. There you go.